loves and besties. It's November, which means the holiday season has begun. For me, anyway. Let's put up the tree, hang some lights, and check out the toys. Oh yeah, checking out the old Amazon catalog. Back in the day, it was the Toys R Us catalog. Or we can just walk down the aisles to do a little window shopping. And that's where I found Vanessa Tempo. The special edition Rainbow High doll at Target. Priced at $49.99 each, there were three different dolls to choose from. I went with Vanessa Tempo because I like the jeans. Look at all those shredded details. She comes with a drum set. Some light assembly is required. There we go. Oh wow, do you see that? It even makes like a small tapping sound. <laughs> no way. Each doll comes with a different musical item. She comes with the drums, one comes with a microphone, and the other comes with a guitar. This doll also has a gold colored doll stand. However, it is very easy to balance her to stand with those shoes. Colorful. She has a comb. Don't think I'll be using this though because of the braids. She has two hangers. One that's great for pants, shorts, and skirts and another for tops. However, I personally could totally do without the word rainbow going across there. She comes with gold colored drumsticks that attach to her thumbs so she can hold them. She wears gold colored earrings that say RH, wears a denim scrunchie in her multicolored braids. She has red, orange, yellow, brown, purple, blue, and green. She has sculpted baby hairs that are painted the same colors, brown, blue, and purple eyeshadow. She has brown eyes, a deep mauve, maybe almost wine lip color with a little gloss, eyelashes, a gold colored necklace. She wears a cream colored strapless top with silver details and golden brown stitching over a white rainbow high graphic t-shirt. She wears layered shredded jeans with a little rope at the waist, silver details. The knees are cut out. There are pockets in the front and in the back. I do see some loose stitches and the edges are raw by that Velcro, so it might unravel a little. She wears colorful painted tan boots with different details on the sides. She wears fingerless plaid gloves a gold watch on one hand and two gold bracelets on the other. She comes with a second outfit, which has a white t-shirt with gold and black details and a denim and faux leather dress with gold details. Doesn't really fit me though, but I can wear this jacket. The sleeves are a little short on a Barbie. Those are faux pockets and the hood almost fits. I think we need a little more space there. But with the jacket on, you totally can't tell that the dress doesn't fit. <clears throat> Fine, I'll give you your clothes back. I am finding the skirt a little snug to get onto the rainbow high doll. But once it's on, it fits like a glove. She comes with a second pair of shoes. They are split in the back, making them easier to put on the doll. Add the jacket and it's a whole look. Just like this. In case you were wondering, yes, this fit fits. Plus, I used a 25% off coupon on this doll, so I got it for 37. And now I don't feel bad about taking her clothes. Aww. Poor Vanessa Tempo. No worries, we can make you something new. Since Rainbow High now has slumber party themed dolls, I thought it would be fun to make our dolls some PJs. I got this head wrap from the Dollar Tree. It's a fabric headband. It's a thin material and I liked the ribbing. I cut two two inch pieces, turn them inside out. Ah, the seams are coming apart, so we might as well open it all the way up. 
So we have two by five and a quarter inch rectangles. Fold over and hem the bottom. We can sew by hand or use a sewing machine. I used a sewing machine. Even though these measure about five and a quarter, we only need four inches. So I trim off the excess, fold them in half so the good side is on the inside, stack them together, and cut a little J shape. Open them up. Let's take these two pieces and we're gonna line up this J shape so the good sides are facing each other. Sew along the curve to connect them. Let's cut another small piece of the headband. It's probably about an inch or three quarters. Open it up. We are going to use it for a waistband. So in order to make this match up with that, we need to gather the top a little. I sew a loose stitch along the top edge, then pull together until it is the same length as the waistband. Fold the waistband in half, then we're gonna flip it over so the good side is facing good side. Line up the raw edges. I use pins to hold it in place, then sew a zigzag stitch or a back stitch along the top edge. Once sewn, let's flip it up, and then we're gonna take the ends, match them up, and sew along the curve. I'm gonna make my stitches a little deeper because I think my waistband is kind of wide. But then I still brought it in and was close at the bottom of the curve. Trim off the excess, grab the ends, pull them apart. So we can now see the two legs and then we're gonna take these little flat areas, line them up and sew straight across. Then flip it inside out to make pajama shorts. Let's take the remaining fabric, fold it over, and cut two more rectangles. Mine are five inches, not five and a quarter, by a little over three inches. I'm going to cut them at three inches. So I have two three by three inch squares and two three by two inch rectangles. Take the squares, fold them in half, Cut the corner at an angle, making a place to sew the sleeves. Take the rectangles, fold them in half. I place the cutouts from the front on the top corner, opposite of the fold, and just cut according to that line. Now we can start to sew it together. Open the sleeves, matching them up with the edge of just one of those layers. Flip the sleeve over the edge, and then you're gonna sew straight down using a straight stitch to attach it. Repeat on the other side, then take the back of the shirt and we're gonna sew it to this sleeve over here with good side to good side, lining up the edges just as before. With all four pieces attached, fold over and hem the top. Use some of the leftover fabric to make small rectangles the same length as the bottom of the sleeves. Fold them in half, then line it up with the bottom of the sleeve and sew across. I used a zigzag stitch to attach the cuff. Repeat for the other one, then take the back side and we're gonna line it up with the other sleeve. Sew down the side. So it's now starting to take on the shape of a shirt. Sew down one sleeve and down the side of the shirt. Now that the bottom is connected, we can open it up, fold it over, and hem it. I used a nice little straight stitch. Now we can match up the edges of the other sleeve and sew from the cuff to the bottom. Flip it inside out to make an oversized comfy shirt. Let's use a little embroidery floss Stitch it through the front of the waistband. Tie knots on the ends. Make a bow to give the illusion of drawstring shorts. We still have a little bit of the leftover headband. So I cut a piece about four inches. Let's flip it inside out. Sew it to make it thinner. Trim off the excess giving me a tube that is four inches by a half inch. Turn it right side out. 
I attach a safety pin to one end of elastic cord, push it through the tube, pull and tie the elastic to make a circle, push the ends into the tube, stitch the ends closed. I'm using a blind stitch to make a scrunchie to match her new PJs. And yes, the PJs can fit our Barbies. This doll has the same articulation we've seen recently with other Rainbow High dolls, with rotation at the head, movement at the shoulder, we got rotation there, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, upper thigh, the knee. I was hoping for an ankle joint at this price point, but no. Her nails are painted pink, and her earrings are designed to be removed. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Vanessa Tempo and made some comfy PJs. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.